Thank you for joining today. I'm very excited to be here and be a part of this. I will start by introducing myself. Uh, so my name is Meg McCune. I'm the Director of Customer Success at Trustpilot in the U.S. I have now been with Trustpilot for over four years, just about four and a half years. Um, so myself and my team are committed to our customers and helping them to come up with their brand strategy and hitting their brand reputation goals. So we help these companies put their review content that they've collected to work for them. And in today's webinar, we'll talk through some of those strategies that we work with um, for our teams. Um, and let's just see, I believe, do I need to be sharing my screen so they can see the deck? Um, Chitty. Yes, if it's possible, that'd be great. Yes, let me go ahead and do that. Mm -mm. All right, I'm presenting. Don't think you'll be able to see it just yet. Okay, let me know if you can see that now. Yep, all up. All right, great. So you missed the picture of me, but that's okay. You have my face on here now. Uh, so I'll just run through a quick agenda. We'll start by talking through Trustpilot, what we are all about for those of you that don't know. We'll also talk through why customer reviews are so important and why we all rely on them. And then we will go through using those reviews in your marketing strategy. And we'll focus on improving your SEO, as well as your paid digital campaigns. Also using reviews and your brand reputation in email marketing. And then finally, improving your on-site um, conversion rates. Okay, so to start off, who is Trustpilot? What are we all about? So for those of you that don't know, in simplest terms, we are an open reviews platform. But here at Trustpilot, we like to think of ourselves as much more than just that. Uh, we've been around since 2007, and our vision is to create an independent currency of trust. And we really want to be seen as the universal, universal symbol of trust. Uh, we bring consumers and companies together uh, to consistently and constantly share and collaborate and improve. Uh, our platform is an open platform. That means that it is free and open to all consumers as well as all companies. We want to give everyone a voice. Uh, and we work very hard to make sure that you as a consumer are reading reviews that are based on real and genuine experiences with these companies. So reviews, why are they so important? Why do we all rely on reviews? Consumer behavior has evolved in a way that shoppers around the world are relying on reviews from their fellow customers to find the most up-to-date and accurate information about a business, whether it's in their local community or it's a global company that they are working with online. And if you think about today's environment, especially the last couple of years, we've really all moved to purchasing a lot more online and where we can't see these products, we can't interact with the company, we really are turning to reviews to make those educated decisions and confident decisions as consumers. Now, important to point out that reviews are a powerful marketing engine in their own right as well. They're a way to build trust within your brand and turn that brand trust into measurable ROI through increasing your web traffic, increasing sales, and increasing your revenue, which is the ultimate goal, right? So let's talk through that. Let's go into more detail why every business needs customer reviews. And these three points right here, we'll get into even more de detail about all three of them. So just keep that in mind as we're going through. Uh, so the first one, building a trusted brand. Reviews are an opportunity for 
anyone familiar with your brand to publicly share what they love about your products, your services, and your customer experience. So having reviews publicly available conveys to potential customers that you're safe to do business with. And they're hearing this from others. They're not just hearing that from you. So make sure you're getting those reviews out there publicly. It, they also can help to attract new customers. Whether you dream of becoming the search result that customers actually click into, you dream of driving more traffic through your emails and your ad creative, or you're trying to get conversions from browsers to actual buyers on your site, social proof like reviews and star ratings and testimonials can help with all of those things that we just named there. And finally, consumer insights. Reviews act like a window into the minds of your customers. So allowing you to discover exactly what they want and then hopefully for you to go out and deliver that. You can build consumer loyalty and get even more customer feedback and then continue to use that customer feedback to improve your business, to maintain customers, as well as attract new customers. So make sure you're using that review content to improve your business. You're not just putting it out there publicly uh, as a marketing tool, but you're also using it internally to make improvements. Okay, so let's talk through using reviews in your marketing strategy. Once you've gone out and you've collected some of this review content about your business, you can then start showcasing it and use that voice of the customer throughout your marketing strategy, hopefully to help increase organic traffic, dial up your paid digital campaign performance, and ultimately win more customers. So let's get into more detail about that. And we'll start by talking through improving your organic SEO. With over 91% of organic traffic going to sites listed on the first page of the search engine results, I can't overstate how important it is that your organic search results are highly ranking to help attract those new customers. And just think of yourself as a consumer shopping online. You're not going to page two, you're not going to page three on these search engine results. You are sticking to that first page and you're clicking into the most relevant and typically top, the top ones. So that's where you want to be as well. And we'll get into this more. Um, you want to build a strong offsite SEO. So offsite SEO describes any action you take to build up a digital footprint outside of your actual website. Whether it's building credible backlinks to your pages, staying active on social platforms or social media platforms, or even creating a profile page for third party reviews like Trustpilot. All of that is going to be considered that offsite SEO. And as you look to improve your offsite SEO, you'll want to establish three things. And you can see those three things here in this wheel. So authority, relevance, and trustworthiness. These are the three categories that greatly impact search engine rankings. And third-party reviews are a great way to build up all three of these. So, Driving more referral traffic, that is something that a third-party reviews platform or profile page similar to Trustpilot can do for you. So on top of the off-page SEO benefits of, the, of your actual website, creating that profile on Trustpilot can also lead to a huge spike in referral traffic. So Trustpilot is ranked by Alexa as being one of the top 1% of the most visited websites globally. So for that reason, we rank very high in a brand um, search results. So if you haven't done this before for your own brand, which I would hope you have, 
go ahead and search your brand and see what's showing up there. Even add the word reviews or reputation. See if Trustpilot showing up there. See if other third-party review platforms are showing up there. It is so important to make sure that you are maintaining and managing those pages um, because they do typically rank very high. And that means consumers are clicking into them. So the more reviews you collect, the more you enrich the content on your profile page. And it is easier for these search engines to associate your brand with ours. And it shows your presence on Trustpilot right at the top of the search results. So again, I encourage you to go do that search, see if your Trustpilot page is ranking highly. And if it's not, we probably should start collecting reviews on there. You can see here an example of one of our partners, TaxLayer. Uh, they saw a 500% increase in referral traffic, uh, which they attribute to their Trustpilot profile page. So super impressive. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Here we go. Okay, so displaying reviews can get your site more organic traffic. And I'll explain why that is. So this is because reviews give more context about your page, making it more valuable in the eyes of Google. Uh, reviews and ratings uh, that are associated with your reviews help Google to understand the quality of your products and your services. And that's what Google is doing, right? They're trying to figure out what your site, what your brand is all about. These reviews are helping with that. Now, reviews also add fresh content to your page. Um, Google sees that as information about your site that is recent and therefore worth surfacing to, your, to users in a high search result. Um, Google does not like old uh, content. They want it fresh. They want it relevant. Uh, so reviews are a great way to do that. These elements all here work together to help Google to overall understand what your website and what your company is all about. So over time, this can lead to search engines to show your page and search results more frequently. And that's what you want, right? You want to be coming up in these search results much more frequently. That should hopefully drive larger volumes of high quality traffic to your site. Okay, so let's talk through review snippets, or you may also know them as rich snippets. Um, those are those gold stars that are going to appear in your organic search results. Uh, if you don't have them for your site, you've probably seen them for other sites, and you may be, may be wondering, how do I get those? Well, reviews can help you with that. So reviews can earn your site these review snippets for your product pages in the organic search results. And that's important to keep out. It's going to be for those product pages. You have to have your product reviews displaying on site to earn those. So review snippets or rich snippets, the gold shiny stars, that is what you are going to see in the um, search results. And they can improve the click-through rate by up to 35% in organic search results. So simply by just having your product reviews listed on site, and there is a little bit of code to markup you need on there, which Trustpilot can help you with, but the customer success team helps with, it can lead to an uptick in click-throughs to that page. So why would you not want to have that on there? And we'll talk through a bit more of the benefits of product reviews a bit later, but this is one of the key attributes, especially when it comes to SEO. So the same idea can be applied to your paid digital campaigns as well. Um, so you can get those gold shiny stars in your paid ads as well, something you may have noticed if you don't have them already for your company as well. So if you think about it, today's consumers, they've seen it all. And many of them don't want to see ads. They don't want to see slick marketing messages anymore. Fortunately, customer reviews and star ratings can enhance your digital campaign performance on these channels and have the biggest influence on consumers' purchasing decisions. People love stars. Um, we've loved them since we were kids, when we were getting gold star stickers for doing a good job, and they still work. 
Uh, so let's talk through how you can qualify for these Google seller ratings, which are those gold stars in your paid ads. So what you'll want to do is give your customers a Google approved platform for sharing reviews on your company, like Trustpilot. Once you've collected 100 reviews from 100 different customers within a 12 month period, and that is a rolling 12 months, so you will have to constantly and consistently keep up with review collection, you will be eligible for what they called Google seller ratings. So one thing to keep in mind as well, if you're an international company, you do need to collect 100 reviews per country. So just want to point that out as well. So those gold stars, they'll be called Google Seller Ratings or GSR for short. And as long as your review rating is a 3.5 or higher, you will be able to maintain those gold stars. Uh, this can really help to establish social proof, help your business stand out, and ultimately and click, increase the click-through rate from that ad campaign, which is the ultimate goal, right? So just keep in mind um, whether Google Seller Ratings is displaying in your paid ad search uh, is completely up to Google's discretion. Uh, there are guidelines that you have to remain within. Uh, there are plenty of support guides out there to help you walk through this. Uh, and my team, uh, the customer success side of things on Trustpilot, would help our partners to strategize around this. Uh, but certainly something you want to be looking into if you're not already taking advantage of those. Okay. We'll shift gears a little bit and now we'll talk through enhancing your retargeting campaigns. So we'll talk through how reviews can help enhance these campaigns. Um, with retargeting campaigns, you're putting ads in front of people that have some sort of existing relationship or at least some sort of interest in your business. So that extra social proof and that basically word of mouth marketing or that rating that's coming from your past customers may be that extra push that they need and that extra confidence that they need to actually make a purchase from you. According to a consumer review survey, 79% of millennials trust online reviews as much as a personal recommendation. And if you think about it, Online reviews, that's, that's really what they are. They are a personal recommendation. Sure, it may be coming from a stranger or someone you've never met, but someone went out of their way and took the time to make this personal, personal recommendation for your customer. So make sure you're using it where there may not be that confidence in purchasing. What Trustpilot does is we recommend to our partners that you turn some of the best reviews and that best content that you've received into an attention grabbing image uh, that may fit into your social channels. Uh, again, your retargeting campaigns or ads that you're putting out there. We actually have a tool, it's called our image generator. It makes it real simple for our customers to pick a great review, put an image alongside of it, whether it's one we have for you or one that you upload and you can create an ad, this image, a post, really takes the work off your team's plate. Um, okay. Similar um, idea here, getting more for your email marketing by using the voice of the customer. So again, putting those reviews to work for you in your marketing. Um, you can highlight customer reviews that directly relate to an offering. Uh, and this should increase the odds and the likelihood that they're going to click through to the landing page and then ultimately, hopefully, convert. Um, you can see here from another study, 82% of shoppers are reporting that ratings and reviews and email marketing can make them more likely to make the purchase. 82%. That's super high. You should absolutely be putting reviews in your marketing content here. Uh, this is an opportunity to convince them that your brand is something they can feel comfortable buying from. It's the perfect time to let them know your satisfied customers are happy and let them do the talking in this. 
Uh, it's not messaging that's coming directly from you as a company. It's coming from the voice of your past customers. One thing I also like to point out is this is free content that your team does not need to create. Your customers have already done this for you. So go ahead and use it. Uh, now, the same strategy should be used for uh, abandonment cart emails. So along the same line here, these are the customers that typically need that extra little nudge. They need some confidence to come back and complete the purchase. So if you're putting together an abandonment cart email flow, consider using a few reviews uh, about your customer experience or about your best selling products just to ensure any hesitant shoppers out there that your business is not only safe to buy from, but there are plenty of people that love your company. Again, don't have that messaging be coming from your internal voice, have it come from the consumer. Let them convince your hesitant shoppers that you're a great brand to work with. Uh, you can see here one of our partners, New York Dress, saw a 220% increase in click-through rate just by adding reviews to their cart abandonment emails. Super impressive numbers. Um, it's almost unbelievable, but they reported this back to us uh, and they were so excited to see the impressive results they got there. All right, so let's shift focus now um, to actual click-throughs and conversions on your site. One thing I wanna point out, 89% of consumers check online reviews throughout the online shopping journey. So by the time that a potential customer lands on your website, chances are they've already formed a first impression about your brand, or they have already heard something about your brand reputation. They've already read something. So be sure to reinforce the brand reputation you've built by getting those reviews on your site. Remember, the home page is where site visitors turn to first to look for those trust signals and to see if there is other social proof about, about your brand. So this is an opportunity to easily build trust with maybe those curious or hesitant consumers by showing off what others are saying about you. So if you have a highlight reel or you have some sort of summary about statistics, about your, um, your brand reputation, your ratings, make sure you're showing them off here. Even just review content, show them off right there on your homepage. This is a place you want to brag about your company. Be proud of it and put it right there out in front of the potential consumer or customer to see. Uh, our partner Thriftbooks, they saw, a very, saw very impressive results by adding review content throughout their customer journey. So not not just on their homepage, but throughout anywhere they may be going on their site. Uh, and we'll talk more on that as well, where else you should be including this. Let's get more into product reviews. I know I touched on product reviews a bit earlier uh, and the importance and the benefits they provide from an SEO standpoint, but let's also talk about how influential they can be on site. So in short, Product reviews is the relevant review product pr content on your products, and it makes the buying decision a lot easier. Uh, we live in a world right now where most of our online shopping uh, is being done at home. Uh, we're not going to stores as often as we used to, and we're not seeing, we're not getting to touch the product anymore. So we are truly we're relying on the voice of the consumer and past customers. We wanna hear what they thought of the product. So this is why product reviews are so important, especially now as we're moving to online shopping. If your goal is to increase conversions on your product pages, which who's, who wouldn't have that as their goal, uh, make sure that product reviews are being provided there on those product pages and not just the review content. You have the ability to share 
photos of the product, videos of the product from your customers, make sure those are on there as well. Those are two features that Trustpilot uh, has in our platform. So when we are asking customers to leave a review or when companies are asking customers to leave a review on a product, it's not only on the product and describing the words or the quality of it, uh, it also is, there is an opportunity to upload a picture or upload a video, which is pretty great. And I think what a lot of folks are looking for when they're making those purchasing decisions. Okay, I'll wrap things up by discussing how reviews can help reduce exit rates. Uh, so every journey has a start point and then an end point. And if that end point isn't the order confirmation page, you should take every opportunity to increase your conversions rate. So taking a look at what pages have a high exit rate or a high drop off rate, you first, of course, want to rule out any other potential issues. But once you've ruled that out, you may want to consider having specific reviews on that page to help with the customers staying on site and converting. So what do I mean by that? Let's say that you're seeing a high drop off rate in your shipping and returns page, or perhaps on your customer service and contact us page where you're encouraging your customers to reach out to you. What you can do there is use tagging of reviews, meaning you're picking specific reviews relating to that topic to display on that page. So if you have customer service reviews and how helpful your staff was and your team was, make sure you're showing those off on your customer service or contact us page. And then same with shipping or delivery or returns, pick those reviews and tag those reviews internally to be sure that those are displaying on that page to help give more confidence to the consumer. And then one thing I will always say for the exit rate and the customer journey and reaching that endpoint, anywhere that there's a call to action where you're seeing a drop off, anywhere it's a, a checkout point or you're asking them to fill out some sort of, even if it's just an email, an order form, you want to make sure you have review content there. Again, it may be that extra little nudge they need to hear from your past customers, how great of a company you are, how great of a brand you are. Okay, so now what? The biggest takeaway that I want all of you to take from this is that as you're thinking forward into the future and next time you're building a marketing campaign or approaching a business challenge, maybe you're starting to plan for 2022, certainly hope you are, you're probably in the thick of it at this point. I want you to stop and think, can customer reviews be used here to help boost our performance and lead to better results? Typically, the answer is going to be yes. So make sure that you are incorporating those reviews and your brand reputation into any of these strategies that you are beginning to build at this point. 